because Donald Trump signed a bill revoking the Obama era <laughs> gun checks for people with mental illness. The rule, which was finalized in December, added people receiving social security checks for mental illnesses and people deemed unfit to handle their own financial affairs to the National Background Check database. Had the rule fully taken effect, the Obama administration predicted it would have added about 75,000 names to that database. We'll never know if those 75,000 people might have carried out a shooting. So what, so what did we just see from Speaker Ryan? Did we see cowardice? Perhaps. Did we see hypocrisy? More than likely. Did we see self-interest? Probably, right? And so part of when we begin to kind of interrogate what's driving this, what's blocking the conversation, and what's driving um, our, our ongoing obsession with guns, it has something to do with the complicity of politicians, right, with business models that I've mentioned earlier. It has something to do with the cowardice of, 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 of everyday ordinary folk. But it also has something to do with culture. And I'm this going to and this is this is a point that we really have to think about. There's a kind of toxic masculinity at the heart of this gun, this gun culture, rooted in a myth about who we take ourselves to be. America's rugged individualism, the government is not going to protect you, we can protect ourselves, right? And there's a way in which this AR-15 is actually the weapon of the minute man, right? There's, there's this old myth around it. So we have to begin to imagine ourselves differently. I think we need a revolution of value in this country, a moral revolution, where we begin to change what we care about, what we demand of ourselves, what we take to be actually valuable. Let me just say this too. Every day in certain communities, Babies are walking to school, having to deal with gun violence. Mm -hmm. Every day in this community, certain parent, in certain communities, certain parents are burying their children because of gun violence. So there are some people in this country right now, folks that I know who are in my family who are friends, who've had to deal with this matter as, a, as, as this issue, as a matter of a circumstance. Um, and it's all because, as John said, this gun culture, this gun culture that makes people money. You know, I, wanna, I just want to take exception to what Eddie said because toxic masculinity can't be the answer here because women constantly engage in mass shootings. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, no. There are no, none of these mass shootings in this history post Columbine. I don't believe there's a single one Someone will correct me out there if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's, there may, there's one. In Alabama. In Alabama. So they're out of these hundreds that we've had, hundreds of cases. We can find two that where a woman has been involved and hundreds, literally hundreds, in which men, and almost exclusively, not exclusively, but almost exclusively, Young white men, and remember, have been have been have been the part of it. Been, Eddie's by my, by my sarcasm here is that Eddie's rod is something very important. This is and there's some of the most interesting conversations happening right now. And it's a question I started asking this morning on this network was to say, just I, I don't understand like what's going on. Why is there? Why is this accelerating? There's some some changes in policy. There's the, the the economic incentives have always been there. There's been some loosening. You point to the Trump thing on policy, but what's going on now? All of a sudden, we have so many more of these things happening. What's happening in the culture? And I, I again don't have the answer to this, but somewhere. In, it's in sociology and it's in anthropology and it talks it's something about the crisis of that's going on among masculine identity among young white men in America but I, that is but I there's think, something I in think, there I think you were making a different point though you're making a point about you're making a racial point as well that that that, that people in in yeah. in urban settings do, this is we're talking about this because let's be honest 17 white kids were, I mean mm -hmm. I think you're making a different yes. point Eddie well I'm making a point about the I'm making two points, two points really yeah. <laughs> I'm saying that this is kind of broad cultural narrative that we have to change that we have to challenge. The reason why when we ask a different sort of question and it breaks down, it makes it difficult, because there's, certain, there's a certain way in which we imagine um, what it means to be American. And the gun is at the heart of it, a kind of rugged gets represented. The New York Daily News picture, this is us, right? We have to challenge that narrative. Then the second part about it is exactly racial. We're not, I wish you guys were having this conversation. As folk were walking in Chicago, in, in Jackson, Mississippi, in Oakland, right? Folks are living with the, with the consequences motion. of guns. The, the slow motion mass shooting. Exactly. That's why Let me we, give you the last word. That's, that's why we need the sheriffs and people like that who are sort of the...